Queen and Slim soundtrack. Queen and Slim is a new film with a spin on a Bonnie and Clyde story. The soundtrack enlists some heavyweights in music at the current moment. Everybody from Megan Thee Stallion and Lauren Hill to Black and Earth Grain make an appearance. How is it? How do we feel about it? Here's an honest review of Queen and Slim soundtrack. Queen and Slim soundtrack. Yes, sir. Had you had any plans of going to see? Actually, I have, but I'm, I'm going to because I really liked it when I first saw the clip. I think I sent it to you or you sent I it to me. I don't, I don't know. Either way it was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to see the movie because, you know, I'm a fan of Dan Kaluuya and everything like that. So I want to see how the movie comes together. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll go see it. It comes out Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I'm off the whole week, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, how you feel about this album artwork? Um, I thought it was okay. I mean, to me, it just kind of seemed like it wasn't much thought put into it, but I guess it's going to give you an idea of what the movie represents, but I thought it was just kind of messy. Yeah, I didn't think it was messy. I just felt like I don't understand it yet, Yeah. and sure. I felt like I, I need to see the movie to actually understand it. Okay, yeah. The flow of this album, man, it, it feels like the, the flow of this album is look into your lover's eyes and just stare music as you about to touch hands <laughs> oh man uh, um yeah um i don't know how to follow that that's pretty accurate i mean just, after you get the twerking song i mean it's just you know some sensual loving music yeah highlights man look uh soul sister which is a remix of Bilal's song featuring rafael sadiq it's pretty old uh, but they they kind of did a remix to it. I feel like they did it justice. Collide is my favorite song on this project. Amazing. I don't know who is singing at Earth Gang at what points, but they sound amazing. And then Tiana Major, Major Nine, whatever you want to call her, she sounded amazing. phenomenal. Yes. That song is amazing. That song should be on your playlist with the, next to the Tiana "Gonna Make Me Love Me" joint. Uh, that joint is seriously that good. Uh, I want to uh, shout out to Yo Love featuring Vince Staples, Black and Mariba. I thought they brought some, you know, some fire, some flames to that. Uh, Queen and Slim. I don't know who Coast Contra is, but Ooh. they killed that I joint. No, yeah, they they <laughs> killed that joint. And yeah. BJ, of course, laid like a nice background vibe for them. I know you ain't gonna like it, but Catch the Sun featuring my man, little baby man. <laughs> I was rocking with it. I know he needs to take some annunciation classes, but. I, I really like the vibe here, man. You don't really get that type of vibe from anybody like that. And Garden the Gates by Lauren Hill. Um, I'm not sure if this mix is slightly different from the mix that has been floating around for years, but I really like the song. It's deep. This is the type of deep Kanye West, which wish he was when he wrote his songs. Mm. When you actually listen to the lyrics and like mm. think about where she was at when she wrote the song, this is what he be trying to do when he thinks he's getting deep. Yeah, man. Um, Soul Sister. Man, that 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 was great, man. Just um, I feel like I've heard this song before, but I'm not too familiar. But I know I heard it. So, but hearing this mix was great. Yo, love of Vince Staples, Black and Mariba was crazy. Uh, Collide just had me do a double take because I'm like, hold on, are Earth Gang on here too? So it's just like you know, I had to play it back a couple of times because it was just so hard. Uh, Queen and Slim is a great title track, man. Uh, Coast Contra, I need to look you up, real uh, BJ. It was more than crazy. one person, I think. So it's probably a group then. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was just added vocals. Uh, I really enjoyed Frame by Choker, man. Like. I, I need to know. Like, this is what I love about soundtracks that put together various artists like this. You always get to find out about some artists you don't know about. So, yeah, Choker. I mean, Frame by Choker was great. Um, Listen, Catch the Sun by Little Baby. It had a nice beginning. Okay? I like the melody. But I'll so, talk, why are you talking about it in your highlights? I'm, about to say, I'm just saying I like the beginning, but I'm talking about the rest of my lowlights. And then um, Guarding the Gates by Lauren Hill had a really nice vibe. Um... Y'all need to learn how to clear those samples or whatever streaming rights sometimes because I couldn't listen to it. You had to play it for me. But um, and I like more money, my baby by Burner Boy, just the vibe. And running away is two things like, you don't mess with. <laughs> and running away, I was just really like the sample and just the instrumentation. I feel like that's probably gonna be like a running theme with the movie or something like that. I can picture that being played throughout the movie or something like that. But I really enjoyed the instrumentation. Never seen the movie yet. Haven't seen the movie yet. The movie isn't even out yet. But my prediction, based off of that song, is that somebody's gonna die then, because I get that mm -hmm. that uh, 
Uh, man, the song from Set It Off when Queen Latifah's uh, yeah, in the okay, car and she gets like, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, to me it had that vibe and it's just like you can't keep running away. Like at some point you're gonna end up getting caught, okay, and especially yeah. when the feds ain't got nothing but time. Yeah. You know, uh, low lights, man. Look, uh, Ride or Die by Megan Thee Stallion and Vicky Lowe is not a bad song. It just feels really <laughs> awkward yes. when you listen to the rest of the album, feeling so smooth and soulful, it and then you get this. So this yeah. must be when they met in some type of club environment or something. Maybe okay. this song makes sense when you see the movie, okay. like in yeah. the context. But with the rest of the album, like everything else is so soulful. And then you get this super twerk anthem. Like <laughs> it, it just felt kind of weird. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Getting Late by Sid. It's a dope song, but it sounds like every Sid song vibe. Like uh, Sid is almost starting to get predictable to me. Uh, she's really dope. Don't get mad and uh, you you hate Sid. No, Sid's got some really dope albums, but this song sounds like other Sid songs to me. And uh, I mean, that's that's really it. Yeah, man. Um, Ride or Die did not need to be on this project. Um, I get it. If it worked for the movie, maybe it could have been a bonus track. I, I don't know. It's just so weird putting that the first track. Cause, on, cause after ratchet. hearing that, what did you think you were getting for the rest of the album? I thought I was about to get some ratchetness and just turn up, like that's what I thought. But then I went straight in the soul system. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So I don't know. Maybe, like you said, it might make sense in this, uh, you know, rotation of the film. But every time I put this album on, I'm just gonna skip the first track, <laughs> or I'm gonna make a playlist without the first track. Um, catch the sun with little baby. Listen. It started off good, but then I just felt like it just went on too long. I, 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 I wasn't feeling it. Like he just, I guess it wasn't no depth and variety in his melody to where I just wasn't feeling it anymore after like a minute and 20 seconds. So I just really you know, disregard my man after a minute and 20. I couldn't, I couldn't. I was just like, yeah, it's just a little baby. That's it. Just saying, it's not, it sounds just not for me, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Final thoughts, man. Look, uh, whoever, I don't know if it was Lena Waif or whoever, uh, Issa Rae. <laughs> I mean, it sounded like a soundtrack Issa Rae slapped together. But whoever put it together, I thought they did a good job of, like, picking some songs that kind of express a certain mood. Yeah. And it felt like this is get away with your lover type music. Every time y'all gaze into each other's eyes and the next thing you know, the cops show up. Y'all got to, you know, keep running away. You know, on some weird, you know, that's, that's kind of a weird setup. But yeah, yeah. Uh, no, other than that, it's, it's a really well put together project. I really enjoyed it. Listen to that collide. That that joint is crazy. Yeah, most of it, I thought this was a great soundtrack to like, you know, I guess, you know, set the mood for the, the film that's about to come up because you really get that vibe of the themes of the movie and how it's going to be. But other than that, for just a soundtrack period, I thought it was well put together minus the first song. And um, it really put a really good assortment of artists together while in capturing the same type of vibe and mood final grade check they did a really good job with the song selection here even the songs that i didn't mention my money my baby that joint is dope Framed by choker that joint is dope i love how you get the instrumental kind of like up front and then he kind of like drops it into the song like it, it's a well put together project and it does feel like some stuff that you it's soul music that you listen to in the car yeah uh, most definitely check for me man um i am going to check out the movie whenever i get the chance but until then i got this nice little playlist man so i, I would recommend you listen to it 